Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn. I'm one of the senior application engineers at Hawkridge Systems, and today we want to take a look at what's new in SolidWorks Sheet Metal in 2015. If you remember from 2014, we we're able to do the bent manufacturing method that was introduced for lofted bends, and the reason they introduced that was to be able to do the real bends and have them shown instead of just having the approximations when we're doing the formed. Now before, we were only able to do parallel profiles and parallel sketch lines. In 2015, they've added the functionality to where we're able to do non-parallel profiles together as well as non-parallel sketch lines. So when we take a look at the completed model, other functionality that's been added is gusset support when flattened. So we do a flatten of the completed piece. You'll see here, there's really not display of where the gussets are. If I fold this back up, you'll see the gussets are displayed here. We have about four of them. We flatten this out. In 2015, they've added the option to turn those on and off. In document properties under sheet metal, we can check these on. And then I'll show us where the locations are. Other improvements that have been added in is inside of the whole wizard you can see that because we're working with sheet metal, pen fasteners are also very important. So they've added in those standards. You can see here the pen inch and pen metric. You can filter out by the type as well as the filter. In addition to that, they've made improvements to the sketch bin as well. So the sketch bin works the same as it always has. But the only thing that would come up that would be an issue is whenever we would do the actual sketch bend, we never know which direction it would go based off the preview. So now a preview is actually available for us when we're doing the sketch bend. In 2014 and previous versions, it wasn't. So here, this will give you a better, accurate depiction of exactly what's going on. Lastly, is when we do a mirrored version of our sheet metal pieces. So when, say, you want to do an opposite hand version or a mirrored version of the part that we're looking at here, we want to go ahead and locate the plane first, mirror part. Now we're able to transfer over the sheet metal information, which includes a flat pattern geometry, which is fixed face, the grain direction. We we'll just want to make sure this is checked on. Afterwards, things like faces to exclude bend line, sketch and forming tool information. All of that's being transferred over as you can see here on the left hand side under the feature tree. Go ahead and hide in our planes. On the left hand side you'll see all the information that's transferred over. So in previous versions when we did this we weren't be able to flatten it out. So in that case generating a drawing of this wouldn't give us much information besides the folded piece. But now once we go ahead and save this out, we call it the mirrored part. Create a drawing of this. Once we access the sheet, the flat pattern, we'll go ahead and flatten this out just to double check to make sure it flattens out. And as you can see here. So now, when we're working with our V palette, grabbing our flat pattern, you can see that this is of the mirrored piece and grabbing our bend tables also getting that additional information. So which means that we're able to do it for both the mirrored part as well as the original which we weren't able to do before. So in today's video you've seen exactly what's new in SolidWorks Sheet Metal 2015. We highlight it once again. It's going through the bent manufacturing method as well as the non-parallel lines, the gussets in the flattened state, making sure that it's showing us the preview whenever we're looking to sketch bends, pen fasteners inside the whole wizard now, and lastly the sheet metal information transferring over to the mirrored parts. Thanks for watching.